Son watching Bobby Miller do what he did last night. Six innings to get to two. Lineup from Davey Martinez looks like this. Lane Thomas leads off. Ness is Smith and Dickerson. Cable Ruiz the four. missed the first month of the season with that freak ankle injury that he suffered during two to Lane Thomas is downstairs and a leader from Tony Gonson. Here we Ruiz. take a look. And Abrams, who are 20 things. Runner takes off, tap back to Gonsolin for the first out of the day. Against some teams that look to go to the postseason like the Dodgers. Has been at his very best. This ball in back, he's got room, edge of the compliment. <laughs> this tonight, and that's a scoreless first inning for Tony Gott. Played to lead off, and then Freddie Freeman and Max Muncy. Good to have Muncy. This is a tough Dodger lineup. Betts quit the game. Thomas hustles over to come. You know, Joe, I wasn't going to say anything. Even with him, it's the more. And so I love that he takes Franchise that. record. Freeman digs. And the first out. Ability to shorten his swing and still get. Tweaked his hamstring on Sunday in Tampa Bay. <laughs> Fly breach has room. Game hitting streak. He's got six home runs in Miguel Cabrera's pocket. Down on three pitches here. Yeah. Four. That's a splitter that's great. First out on one pitch. Dom Smith back on May 17th. Homer didn't. It's it on the ground to first for Freddie Freeman. Two up and two down on three pitches. Especially when he's able to change eye level with that pitch. And so. Oh, wow. We got to have that. Yeah, man. Like, come on, baby. We have that. He has got room. No score. Middle two. Hayward yanks this ball in the air, right center field. Thomas over, out of room, and gone. Jason Hayward. Peralta now, grounds the base hit it. He said he feels good, and he's allowing them to create something, which left them open. Had a sacrifice fly as well that tied the game. Rookie to rookie, 1-1 one, one pitch. Bounce to first, gently. Smith goes to second one. It's very sure-handed over there for them. You're from California, and I'm from Cali. The field Garcia runs under it. It's thundering down on you. Love it. Jam shot right side, and Dom Smith makes the catch. And he's going to start with an 0-1 count. He wasn't ready. Base hit. Behind it. Line drive base extended both the on base streak and the hit. Late middle, middle. That pitch needs to be down at the shin. So top. The only play for Freeman is at the bag. I need to be able to get him to hit the ball on the ground. Oh, no. Hit him with an 0-2. That's in the air. It's in the left. Vargas scores. Thomas held to third. Line's moving. And Joey Manessas, another hit. Somehow gets it into right. Hayward makes a running. Keeper run off of the board here. It's horses. Not that he just wanted to fire that in and was trying to get back to see it and just test the throw, but that man's got a How good Jason Hayward's arm can be at that outfield assist and Dustin rushed in with the fastball. Doubtman and the Nationals are settled for one in this third. That too. <laughs> you know, honestly, like you and Bet things like that happening. That plate gets all the time, and that's the product of a run. Lifts a fly, and that's going to dunk in. Joey Manessa. Muncy turns on it. Down the line. Hooking. Fair. And bouncing into the seats. It's an RBI double for Max Muncy. Bang to center on a line. Thomas has it. Freeman heads on from third. Throw goes to third. And Muncy's in there safely. Shoots this one to the right side, and he's driven in his second run of the night with an RBI single here. It's 4 1. Yeah, throw to second. Yeah, Dom Smith had the backhand and landed right on that bag and didn't have a throw in. Dominic Smith just trying to fire it over. I'd like to see James just square one up. On a 3 2, Outman swings and misses. because they knew they had Will Smith for the foreseeable future. In franchise history. Lifts onto the track, just in front of the... Out in the book, but talking about runner out there. It's not easy to play center. Three straight last place finishes since as they've torn it down. Five prospects that they got back for Juan Soto. Freight train chugging and making...
Freight train got them young legs. Look at communication. One, two, three, four, fitting on seven to the glove as well. Rojas serves center field. Manessis in the old square. 36 years old, 35 years old. Up and two down in this fourth. You're trying to find either a zone or a pitch that you're comfortable. Down an 0 1 from Irvin. He golf swack and that's just myth. He touched my face and like, oh, sir. Rock. And he's there. You're mentioning the name of that guy. Good pitch, out of point. Execution down in the. I don't think Austin Barnes gets enough credit about this hit. Nationals 0 for 6 on. <laughs> that a boy. Back foot breaking pitch. And Ben might have gotten a little help on Trell on his first hit to extend it. Grounder to first. Smith to second. And Abrams stumbles. Smith firing it over there. And Abrams is waiting for them, enjoying the game and using it to their advantage. There goes Monsu with the 3 2. Hayward takes ball four. And he's been. Applies this other guy who had a short stint in five and six up here in the sixth inning. Contact. The defense loves paying. Ooh, backhand pick. Give me another one. To his right. Right. And right there made a nice play. In with the best of them. That's a crack. Bookie Betts will settle under for out number two. Wow. Another nice defensive play. That's 11 straight. Bottom of the sixth inning into the Nationals. Bullpen. Andre the order. He's a play, Dom Smith. Left the trap after scoring the field since. One run. Bounce him out. Rojas is out. Under. Shoulders down and relax to anybody in base. Barnes. Ground short for Abram. Funny hop, but he was in. Corrado with. Defensive center fielder. There's a bullet to left from Ruiz. See you later. Admitted it. Strikes out Abrams looking here for the first time. Son, I throw a ball to a backstop and you're know, overcoming the get. Been an easy play for Mookie Betts. Two to seven. Really good direction. Two up, two down after the home run. Now pitch that Vessia throws and pulls it into the lane. He's looking and seeing. Garcia base hit to right. Thomas around third. Hayward's got to throw it into second. And the Nats are back to within a run. The three one. That's ball four. Fourth base runner to bullpen. Yeah, he just didn't have the success for one. And Phillips on from in grounds one to short, scooped up by Rojas, and it takes. And from the veteran being able to step up. He goes here, put away by. Big really Field, he's got his third hit of the double, and this time. A good one hop to Abrams, but Thomas has a cannon out there in the center. That was a. Especially the way the baseball. Hot shot and a base in his first game back after. Staying down with that. Martinez sends a towering drive to center field. Go. Thomas to the wall. It's gone. J.D. Martinez. Secondary pitches. Great game plan. Better. Jason Hayward. His, his hitting streak to five games. And how about the fresh legs of Jason? I love to see the vets getting their foot down and have. Up the middle. Knuckling roller to Abram. And that ends by three runs after Dodgers up 6-3. Phillips eighth inning. Punch side. Another backhand play by Matt. And this is Shane was in town. Mm. Strikes out Dickerson who just flails help. Oh, who's got <laughs> that baseball. So I've gotten to see first Evan Phillips movement. Boogie Betts moves off in front of that he's faced. Former draft pick of the scene. Oh. hit by the pitch. First base. What, what do we know? What out. do you know? Yeah, that slider. Thompson Bro. held on a little too long, but I... oh. yeah, slow bouncer that stabbed and threw. Love that though, James. Out in the boys and staying within yourself and playing clean. Brooms. Barn shows one and a wild pitch. Ball out. Out to score. To get himself an infield hit. Roller to short, Abrams to second one, on to first, that's two. Run will come to the back door, and it's 8-3. Advantage. Freeman drives the ball, deep left center field. That one's gone! Freddie Freeman on another planet! Uh-oh. 
settles under to finish off. In run, 12 hit attack for the Dodgers tonight. On to the night. Cutter and cutter combination. Back onto the track in front of the wall. Auto ball on the warning track. Bouncing ball to, to second one and two from Justin Brewer is pulled to second. Knuckling one hopper from Mookie Betts to end the ball game. Dodgers take the series from the Nationals. All right, well, guys, it's always a special night when the two of you have things going offensively. So we're going to start with you, Jason. You had a homer tonight. That was your first homer off of a breaking pitch in two years. How good did it feel to get that result? First off, get there. Come on. Um, but no, it was nice. Um, just to have a simple approach tonight. We got a lot of great examples in our hitters meetings. Um, guys around me, we talk about trying our best to keep it simple, and it paid off tonight in a big way. And Freddie, you had another big night for you as well. You now with an additional extra base hit. You now have the franchise record of extra base hits in a month. What does that mean to you? Oh, yay. <laughs> uh, yeah, David told me yesterday how many doubles I had. I, didn't, I don't know. I'm just happy we won and got the series win and go for a sweep tomorrow. When you think about just the results the two of you guys have been having, what does it mean just to see Freddie to be getting out there and being so consistent at the plate? This is what he does. You know, people ask me or they talk about his numbers, things like that. I'm like, yeah, this is Freddie. He goes out there, competes, does his best every day to try and win, and he's happy when we win. And since Jason has been here, you were his biggest supporter to see him, to get the results offensively, to be zooming around the bases and his defense. I mean, how impressive has your friend and your teammate been? This is I, this is all, like you talked about me, this is what I've known about Jason. Uh, he, he can affect the game in so many different ways. You know, single, every guy, single home runs, stealing bases, working walks, throwing guys out at the plate yesterday. Uh, I'm, I'm glad Dodger fans get to see Jason Hayward. This is another big win for you guys. You've won the series. How important is it just to set the tone of this homestand with another win tonight? I feel like we've been grinding. Uh, that's what we do. We compete. That road trip to me, um, a lot of ups and downs, but it was really impressive playing a lot of good teams you know, in their house. To come out today and, and do the same thing we've been trying to do is just compete, win a series. Very nice to have that happen, and we got a game to win tomorrow. Freddie, what about you? Uh, yeah, just the grind factor. Uh, like I talked about yesterday, coming off that 11 o'clock game, five-hour flight, and coming out yesterday and winning that game, and then we just kind of stepped on it again today. That was huge for us. Uh, and come out here and try and get that sweep tomorrow. Well, guys, congratulations on tonight. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thank Chris. Thank you. Tony, uh, Dave, when he was talking about you, he felt that you were kind of just grinding through your outing today. Would you say that you kind of felt that and you kind of have to put a little extra effort in there? Yeah, I feel like from pitch number one, I wasn't super sharp today. <clears throat> I was really fortunate to have, you know, awesome defense today. You know, everyone played defense great today, and uh, that's, that's what kept me in the ballgame. How do you navigate a start like that? Uh, just be happy with the results and, you know, really just give all the praise to the defense. They played great. But, but when you know, for example, that they're going to get their contact, you kind of pitch differently just to elicit the kind of contact. Uh, I think the game plan was still the same, just trying to execute it. It just didn't execute it very well. Dave talked about this team's defense, you know, collectively, uh, kind of a, a different effort level he sees from this unit. Do you sense that as, as a pitcher, this, this group collectively? Yeah, I feel like everyone's out there to make a great play. Um, doesn't matter where it's hit. Um, I feel like everybody made a great play today. So just going out there and trusting the defense and letting those guys hit it. Seem at any point because it felt like maybe uh, towards the back end of your outing you kind of found a little bit more efficiency. Did you feel that anything kind of clicked in your outing, or it just kind of felt like a grind throughout? Uh, definitely felt better in the back end. Um, feel like I synced up better a little bit in my mechanics, but like I said, just went out there and just tried to let the defense work. And those guys were hacking, and fortunate enough, there were a lot of hard hit balls right at guys. When you see what this lineup is capable of, uh, especially here in the last month. Do you have more confidence when you take the ball every fifth day? Yeah, we just we knew our guys were going to hit from the beginning. It's just a matter of when, and it's great to see them coming around and uh, hitting their stride. I think tonight it was just uh, consistent one through nine, uh, really good at bats, squaring the baseball up, taking walks, running the bases, and uh, just team offense. And obviously, you know, JD with the big homer uh, two nights in a row, and then Freddie gave us a little bit of distance with his homer. But just all in all, really positive. I think with Jason, it's just a sign of a veteran hitter where uh, I, I thought uh, he started off well, then hit a lull, and then he started kind of expanding a little bit a few weeks ago. And the last two and a half weeks, I think he's 
kind of got back into his nitro zone and uh, very prepared. And now it's kind of hunting his zone. And uh, tonight was a perfect example. What's been different about JV these 17 games since he's come up to the IL? Because I think it's eight homers now this month. Uh, I, I don't know the difference. I know that um, he feels good, body feels good. Um, you know, he had some, some bad ones early. You know, a lot of spin was getting him, but uh, they made a mistake with the fastball and he took advantage of it. Same thing he did last night. Um, you know, he just has a knack for getting big hits. And I think he's second in baseball and slug. And um, it's just nice to have a presence in there, hitting right, hitting left. And um, he's a force. Kind of envision like what your lineup looked like without Justin Turner and sort of replacing him. How sort of perfectly is JD? Kind of he, he's been perfect. Uh, it's really hard to replace a guy like Justin, um, but to have a guy in there that is a professional hitter, um, like I said, that can hit right and left. It just makes more sense for a lineup. Uh, if your DH can do that and you can put him in the middle of the order every night, um, but the way, uh, the ability for us to to platoon guys. Um, uh, Gives us also some matchups too, and those guys, to their credit, David and, and Jason, are doing a heck of a job too. Yeah, it did. Um, Alex wasn't good tonight. Um, you know, I, I just felt it was a good run for him, a good opportunity for him to get back into the swing of things. Um, Tony tonight, and as far as Alex, you know, there were just balls that were just up in the zone. Uh, the fastball, the velocity was fine. Just didn't seem like it had that life. Um, was the secondary was non-existent and uh and as far as tony I, I thought from the first pitch he he didn't have much tonight and so tonight was just a gritty performance uh, there was a lot of hard outs um and so for me just to make sure that uh, we keep him healthy and strong i felt that that was a time to to pull the shoot and uh, he wanted to stay in there like uh, i would expect but uh you know it's not only the short term but it's a long term you know, that I've got to kind of appreciate. Was it more stuff, man? Like, what were you It was both. Of? It was both. Uh, he was working behind hitters. Um, the breaking ball, curveball up in the zone a lot. The change up, uh, missing arm side. Fastball wasn't commanded. So uh, he did a good job of getting outs when he needed to. Um, but uh, certainly not, not his best stuff night.